Uh, cargo shorts are out, guys. I don't know if you know this. We are not to wear cargo shorts anymore. Those are out of style, and that is not to be worn. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do because I got a lot of stuff to carry. You know, in the winter, we have jackets, lots of pockets. In the fall, we can wear a hoodie, stuff, stuff, and a little kangaroo pocket there. Summer rolls around. I got nothing. I got shit to carry, guys. I got shit to carry, and I don't know what to do with it. I got, I got like, wallet, keys, phone, lighter, weed, bowl. I got shit to carry. That's what I'm saying. I got things to carry. So I asked a friend of mine, she works in the fashion industry, I was like, hey, can I wear like a fanny pack? Is that something I can pull off? Can I pull off a fanny pack? Yeah. Some of you are laughing already. Sure. And she said, she was like, yes, you can. Fanny packs are hot in the streets, but here's what you do, you strap it across your chest. You strap that bad boy right across your chest. I was like, you want me, an Arab, to strap a pack across my chest? <laughs> Nope, cargo shorts. We're going with cargo shorts. That's the answer. That's what we're doing. Her boyfriend was standing there, white dude. He overheard this. He was like, Rami, I'm pretty sure you can't say a rap. I was like, no, I'm pretty sure you can't say a rap. I'm good, dude. I'm good. See, a word to you, motherfucker. And, uh, that's your warning. You will get knocked the fuck out. You will. The other reason I'm glad that that summer's almost over. Fireworks are gonna be over, guys. I fucking hate fireworks. I don't get it. I don't get it from the beginning. Like, it, it makes a lot of noise. It goes up, bright light. I'm over it by the third one. It's September. I'm still cleaning up dog piss every night. Enough with this. Enough. <laughs> and I live in Bayview, where uh, we're about to have the frolics. Y'all familiar with what the frolics are? Yeah, a few of you are clapping. Uh, that's not even fireworks. They just blow up dynamite on the beach. <laughs> Drunk. <laughs> Fighter jets fly over your head. That's the frolics. That's what it is. My parents came from Palestine to get away from that shit, okay? That's... You have any idea how privileged it is that you just do that for funsies? Like, that's fucked up. Came a long way to get away from that. Uh, she mentioned that I host an afternoon show, sports talk radio show. Any big sports fans in the house? Let's go. Sport by sport. Packers fans, football, big football fans in the house. All right. Brewers, they're hot right now, yep, yeah, okay. Bucks, Bucks in six, right? Bucks in six, Bucks in six. Soccer fans, we got any soccer fans in the house, anyone? Oh, I fucking hate soccer, I hate it. I, uh, I can't do it, I can't. I don't hate soccer as much as I hate soccer fans. Not you, man, you're cool. Um, now, soccer fans are the worst because it's not enough that they love what they're doing and they're enjoying it and it's making their life better. They need you to like what they're, what they're doing. They need you to enjoy it for it to make your life better. They're like the evangelical Christians of the sports world is what they are. And they'll use three, three main arguments to get me specifically to like their sport. One, they'll say, Rami, huge sports fan. You love sports. You have to appreciate the passion of soccer fans. They are the most passionate sports fans in the whole world. And that's true, because every time I turn on a soccer match, oh, they call them matches, not games, because they're fucking pretentious. But every time I turn on, every time I turn on a soccer match, there's a dude with like a mohawk in his team's colors, and he's hurling road flares into the opposing team's cheering section, and racial epithets at the players on the field. It's like, I don't know, when I'm looking to go to a game, I'm looking for like green grass, blue skies, sun shining, cold beer, sausage of some kind. Not looking to attend a Mad Max reenactment. That is not my idea of a good time. The second argument that they'll make to get me to like soccer, they say, Rami, you're Middle Eastern, dude. That's the sport of your people. Your people love that sport. How do you not love that sport? Also true. Also true. It is the sport of my people. My people love that sport. You know what else my people love? Fucking hating your people. Should I give that a try? I can give that a try. <laughs> making it easy. I can give that a try. <laughs> the third argument that they'll make to get me to like soccer. Say, Rami. Soccer is the most popular sport in the world. You just don't get it, because you're an ignorant, silly American. It's the most popular sport everywhere in the world but America, and you just don't get it, dude. And that's true. It is the most popular sport everywhere else in the world. Anybody have any idea, though, what the most popular food in the world is? Any guesses what the most popular food in the world is? Rice. Rice, you nailed it. First guess, yes, it's rice. That's probably surprising to most of you, because when was the last time? You had a long, hard day's work, right? <laughs> you were just driving home through traffic. Just like, man, I cannot wait 
to get home to a nice big steaming bowl of plain white rice. I cannot wait. I can't wait. That's never happened. That's never fucking happened, okay? Rice is the most popular food in the world for one simple reason. It doesn't take a lot of skills or resources to cultivate it. Basically, all you need is like an open field of grass and 22 dudes trained in basic skills. But it's also bland and fucking boring. You know what I just described? Fucking soccer, you guys. That's what I just described, okay? Fuck your soccer.